Hello children. Today we are going to study lesson eight of Gulmohar, that is a trip to Mars. Okay. So you know children, Mars is the fourth planet in the solar system. It is the fourth planet from the sun and the second smallest planet in the solar system, being larger than only Mercury. Okay. And it is also known as the red planet okay so we'll study more about uh, mars and how uh, this story uh, children is actually a science fiction and in this story we see that uh, how uh, it is actually a imaginative story and we'll see a trip an imaginary trip of an astronaut to the planet mars okay which has not yet been explored by the humans so it is imaginary it is it's not in real and also it presents several scientific facts which is true which will uh, come across in this chapter when we will read this so we'll find some scientific facts which is related to the planet mars like we can say the distance or the physical characteristics how it is why it is red planet and so on and we notice how uh, means uh, there is a astronaut uh, named um, Captain Jenna in this uh, chapter, and we will notice that how carefully uh, this Captain Jenna um, she completes her mission and uh, she collects all the samples and uh, uh, bring them back on earth for the scientific uh, means study for the scientific research and all okay and we'll also come across a robot in this chapter and the name of the robot is curio and uh, we'll read about uh, some of the ways uh, means the robot usually functions okay so let's uh, start the chapter children this story is about an astronaut named captain jenna now astronaut what is the meaning of astronaut children so astronaut is a person who is trained to travel in outer space in a spacecraft okay and what is spacecraft spacecraft are the you can say a kind of vehicle a very special and very powerful vehicles that carries people into outer space okay and now what is outer space so the space that is beyond the earth Okay, the space that is beyond the earth that is known as outer space. So, we'll see that the story is about an astronaut named Captain Jinnah. So, name of the astronaut is Captain Jinnah. She is the captain of a spacecraft which flies into outer space. So, this Captain Jinnah is the captain of a spacecraft. Which kind of spacecraft? Which flies into outer space. That is the space which is beyond the earth. Here we will read how she travels to planet Mars alone and what she does over there. So usually when the astronaut uh, uh, means to go to uh, space and all or to different um, planets, they are accompanied by a team of scientists and astronauts. But this time this uh, means this uh, Captain Jenna, she is going alone. Okay, and she's just accompanied by a robot that we'll see. Captain Jenna had gone into outer space several times in a spacecraft with other astronauts and scientists. But this time it was different. This time she was going to fly a spacecraft to Mars alone. So children, how was uh, means uh, this uh, latest uh, this space travel um, going to be different for Captain Jenna? Because every time um, she goes to another planet or space wherever, so she's always accompanied by a team of scientists and astronauts. But this time she was going alone. Scientist means what children? Scientist means the people who know a lot about science. They do research and all. They explore. They discover new things. That are the, those people are called scientists. And uh, this explore. Explore means what? To uh, means uh, um, to travel to new place to learn about it. To discover new things. That is known as exploring. Okay. She wanted to explore it and see and know a lot of different things about the planet. She also wanted to collect rocks and soil from there and bring them back to earth for the scientists to study uh, them. 
so children why uh, means was she going to mars because she wanted to explore the planet she wanted to know more about the planet mars and to bring uh, means back rocks for study the materials she wanted to bring uh, back to earth for uh, the scientist to uh, means uh, discover something or to study about mars okay after a lot of discussion with other astronauts and scientists captain jena set off on her journey to mars a few days later so children uh, means uh, going to mars going to uh, another planet is not an easy job and that to going alone so for that you need to uh, do a lot of homework how you'll go what things you should carry and what thing you will do when you will go there so uh, doing all these things means you need a lot of uh, discussions so discussion means what um, some important conversation about something with some important people so she had to discuss everything every detail so after discussion uh, with other scientists and research um, astronauts uh, she um, um, set off on a journey to mars after few days a small robot called curio accompanied her on her trip so who accompanied uh, captain jena on her trip a small robot called is the name of the robot is curio robot is not a human being it is a machine okay and that does work that is normally done by a person so that robot can do mechanically they are so uh, means technically sound that they can do the uh, work that is usually done by a person and it is controlled by computer it is a computerized machine okay then the this uh, jena was accompanied by curio who is a robot and why uh, she is accompanied by uh, curio this robot so that uh, curio can help her on mars as she moved further into space captain jena watched the earth getting smaller and smaller she noticed the stars in the sky and thought about the planets that go around the sun okay so what uh, did jena notice as she traveled towards mars she noticed that the stars in the sky and the earth getting smaller as she went away from it and uh, she means she was excited she, uh, to see that how the earth is getting smaller and smaller and even the stars in the sky are getting smaller after many days the spacecraft finally reached mars it took a long time for them to reach mars since it was so far from earth so means why did she take a long time to reach mars because it is mars is not close to earth it is very far from earth oh wow i can see the two moons on of mars so what was the first thing she saw uh, means uh, when she reached mars she saw the two moons of the mars okay uh means that, that, that here we see only one moon but there just like earth has a moon which goes around it the planet mars has two moons which go around it okay so she saw two moons of mars and how did she feel um, when uh, um, when she landed uh, mars she was excited because she was eager to start her research on the planet captain jena jena said eagerly to herself see eagerly means she was very excited okay she then landed the spacecraft on the planet's surface as she looked out of the window she became very excited about finally reaching mars she couldn't wait to start her work so she was very excited she was very eager when she landed on mars and she was very excited to uh, start her research on the planet let me take my digging tool with me she said then she opened the hatch door and got down from the space craft okay so then uh, what she did she do she uh, means digging tool means what the uh, tools um, by which you uh, dig in the ground make a hole in the ground so that is known as digging tool so she was well it means she came here with full uh, means preparation she was well equipped she brought uh, digging tool along with herself because she knew that she will 
need them then she opened the hatch door what is hatch door hatch door is the special kind of door which is found in ships or spacecrafts it's not ordinary door that is found in our doors that's not that kind of door okay that is a special door and she means opened the hatch door and then got down from her spacecraft captain jenna wore a special space suit which she had brought along with her now she has come on a different planet so she will not wear her ordinary clothes which we wear on earth she uh, was wearing a space suit what is a space suit that is you can say a garment or clothes which is worn by astronauts in outer space okay so um, that uh, dress you can say or that uh, outfit is uh, uh, means specially made uh, to go in the outer space she also carried an air tank on her back to help her breathe as she did not want to breathe the dangerous air on mars so see as i told you that she came here with full preparation okay and uh, she was well equipped she was also carrying an air tank air tank was means what a large barrel where air is stored to be used later so it is a kind of tank you can say in which oxygen is there and that oxygen is used by the astronauts so that they are they means don't breathe the means uh, dangerous uh, air which is present present on different planets and they can be uh, means uh, they don't faint or something mishappening doesn't happen so they carry this kind of air tank she looked at the surface of the planet and decided to walk far away from the spacecraft in search of rock and soil mars is full of large and rocky hills she said so children what did uh, she first I means uh, noticed on the surface of mars she saw that it was full of rocks okay and why she wanted to carry these rocks uh, why she want why, why did she want to collect these rocks because the scientists they want to see if there had been life on mars okay that's why she wanted to collect uh, means uh, these rocks um that's why she looked at the surface of the planet and decided to walk far away from the spacecraft in search of rocks and soil Mars is full of large and rocky hills she said and means what she was noticing that there is a lot of uh, uh, means soil and rocks present on the Mars and do you know children Mars is also known as red planet why it is known as red planet because there is iron oxide present on this planet okay so this is also known as red planet and that is why it is uh, means uh, um, it is a uh, very it, the scientist they find this planet very attractive because of its red color and then many movies are also made on this planet children uh, you must have seen uh, one movie came here mission mangal Uh, i hope you all have seen it's a very good movie and in that movie uh, it is shown that how uh, our scientists they sent the satellite uh, uh, on mars and uh, means it took nearly one year to reach and still that as i mean satellite is uh, traveling around the planet and we are eagerly waiting that sometimes maybe any uh, alien comes across our satellites and we get to see that there is life on um, mars or maybe there had been life on mars so some clue maybe we get so children you see that it is based on an imaginary trip to mars which is a planet in space okay that we have not yet visited and it is also based on facts from scientific research on mars okay so children we will uh, study till here only and rest of the part we will study in the next video so i want you all to go to the chapter once thank you